I love, love, love to shine a light on people who are giving back to their community. And at only 12 years old, my next guest has already made his mark in his hometown of Rockwall, Texas. Listen to this. He started a nonprofit organization called Just Cause Helmets Matter to spread the importance of bike safety and help save lives. Please welcome Gage Duke to the show. What's up, man? How you doing? Good. Okay, first of all, you have the coolest name. I wish I had your name. <laughs> Come on, that's a, that's a movie star name, Gage Duke. Starring Gage Duke. I love you, sound like an action hero. So tell me about your nonprofit, Just Cause Helmets Matter. Well, my nonprofit organization gives out helmets to kids and adults all around who either don't have a helmet, can afford a helmet, or just want a helmet in general. That's terrific. Now, what inspired you to start this? My cousin, Alan Hall, because back in 2012, he was riding his bike to school, and he was hit and killed. And when he died in the hospital, we later learned that if he was wearing a bike helmet, he may have lived. Mm -hmm. But when I got back, to, when I returned to school, I saw kids riding to and from school without helmets, and it made me sad that they just didn't know how important helmets really are. Sure, this is important work you're doing. Well, what are the main things you want everybody to know about bike safety? Like, first of all, don't ride at night. Just that simple, don't ride at night. Mm -hmm. um, another one, wear bright colors, because just because you can see the car doesn't mean the car can see you. Uh, your mom is here today. Uh, what do you think about what your son has accomplished? Where's mom? Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm great. I don't know your son, but I love this kid. Like, <laughs> Thank I, I, you. you. I do, be, too. You must be so proud. And I named him, so thanks <laughs> for that, too. It's a great name. What, what do you think about all of this? Um, for our family, this has just been the most healing journey. And so to know that he started all this when he was just six years old, he was half this age, and to see this genuine, true desire to help other people, it, it just has been so healing. And to watch not only all of the things that he's doing to promote bike safety, but to watch that all of this has changed him. He was so shy. You and, were shy? Oh, oh come on. And now yes. he's, he's on national TV. I know. He's telling up Alan's he's... story. It's just, it's amazing. It's been a healing journey. Golly, for good for you. That's terrific. So, we have a helmet here. You need to show, and listen, Gage, I'm gonna be totally honest with you. Sometimes I get on my bike and I don't put my helmet on. I think that's gonna change, well, your face. <laughs> sometimes I do, some, some, sometimes, sometimes I do, and I, I don't think I'm gonna do it again, but I want you to, to show me some things about how to wear it the right way, and okay. tell, teach me, because I, right. I need to know this stuff. Well, to how to properly fit a helmet. Because sometimes if I, if I'm going right down the street, I'm like, oh, I don't need a helmet, but that's probably when I need it the, the most, right? First off, get your fingers like that. Okay. Put them right above your eyebrows okay. to the top of the helmet to make sure that the helmet doesn't come down and obscure your vision. Okay. Second, make like a V shape, mm -hmm. one finger in front and one behind okay. to make sure that the, helmets, the, helmet, the helmet straps are on correctly. Okay. And the last one, put them back together right under there to, and no, to make sure that the helmet is on tight enough and that it, no more than two fingers should be able to fit under there. Or it'll be too loose if it were, exactly. were more. Now, what would you tell other kids? You look very cool in that helmet. Maybe the reason I don't wear it because I don't look as cool as you. <laughs> you look extremely cool. What would you tell other kids uh, that have their own big goals? Because like your mama said, you're on national television. I mean, you're you're <laughs> yeah. gonna change someone's life and probably save lives. What do you tell the other, ki uh, other kids out there? Just because you're young and maybe small doesn't mean you can't do big things. And you can't be too scared or shy to tell, to tell anybody about your ideas. Like, if I didn't tell my parents or my principal about my idea, I wouldn't be here today. I wouldn't be talking about what I'm talking about today. That's great. You're inspiring, and we want to really thank you for... Yeah. Listen, go like this to your ears real quick. This is the cutest kid I've ever met in my life. I didn't want you to hear that. So you, you've, done, you've done amazing work uh, in your community, and everybody's very thankful uh, for all of that. And we have some friends uh, at Schwinn. I'm sure you've heard of Schwinn, uh, the great bike company. They feel the same way, so they are donating over $11,000 worth of bike helmets. Yes! What do you think, man? Yes! Yeah? Thank you! You're so welcome. Gabe, thanks for being here, man.